In this video, I'll be teaching you guys how to use the operator blocks and and keep watching till the end to see how you how to use them and how to create awesome games and publish it to all of Scratch. <laughs> MC. If you are new to this channel, I post regular videos on Minecraft, Scratch programming, and gaming videos. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you are new to the channel. Also, click the bell so you never miss a video. In the last episode, I covered the sensing blocks, and now I'm going to be covering the operators blocks. So, let's get straight into it. First blocks we have are the plus minus uh not minus again uh multiply you might be saying that's not multiply that's i don't know what my english grammar is but that's something different but no in scratch that's multiplication and this is division you might be thinking this is not a division symbol well a slash represents a division symbol let's say for addition let's say you want to do this some easy thing one plus two and you get so like these are the inputs and you get your output as three let's say two no no we can also do negative minus like two minus eight and you get your answers negative six if you do here it will be five times let's say 25 you get your output as 125 nine I don't know how that makes sense, but okay. <laughs> and if you do um, 10 divided by 2, you get your answer as 5. So you can also use negative numbers. For example, um, uh, no. <coughs> no. Stop. Okay. So let's say negative 10 minus 8, and you get your answer as negative 18. Because you're in the negatives, so negative 10 minus 8, so you get your answer negative 18. And let's say minus negative 8, negative 1, okay? Let's say negative 1, you get your answer as negative 9. If you say negative 10, something interesting will happen. There will be 0, absolutely no number. It's like you never did anything. You also put decimals like 10 point. Two, four, one, six, seven, eight, minus. Oh, yeah, you get this answer. Uh, a very big number, but okay. And same goes for all of these other ones. You get a bunch of crazy numbers. Let's say 1.9999999999. Okay, done. And this is your output 3.9899. What I've already touched it. Um, for multiplication, you can also use decimals, let's like say 6.879, uh, you get your answers 117.987, see, um, and then for division, you'll be, you get, let's say 11.2688. Whatever I'm typing in. Zero zero. Okay. You get your answer 5.6349. Okay. Um, so that's all for these blocks. These first four blocks. Congratulations, you made it this far. Next we have the pick random block. And this basically means it'll pick a random number from one to ten. Nine. Eight to ten. Nine, eight, three, four, you know. Just pick random numbers. You don't have to, you can do negative 239 all the way to 239 okay let's say this we'll pick a number from there and negative 201 you can put point point two zero two zero nine five six one eight and it picked 231 point seven eight four seven eight four nine five five nine five nine one two eight four four and you can do negative because it was negative you can do 
you, you don't have to choose any of mine, but I'm choosing you can choose 100. And it is 32. Positive number. And next we have the these three ones. Some of my favorite blocks. Not really favorite, but I use them most often than when I could. Firstly, you might be asking, what do these signs mean? Well, if you know maths, then this is exactly what these mean. This first block means... You sh this means... This means that this number should, is greater than this number. So let's say we leave it 50, and let's change this to be 23, okay? It will be false, because 23 is not greater than 50. But for here, it's the opposite. If we put 23 here, this would be true. And that is because this line here is pointing towards the 23, which means that this number is greater, this number is the smaller number. But this is the greater number, and it's the smaller number. Now, if we do negative 23, as you can see, it is true, because this is negative, and this is positive. Now, this equal sign means that if, it basically means, let's take 23 equals 50, that is false, because 23 is not the same as 50. It has to be some. It can. I think it can be something like this. Like you add plus here, it'll be like 25 plus 25 equals 50, and that is true because 25 plus 25 equals 50, and 50 equals 50. So that's the same number, and same goes with multiplication. 25 times 2, you get your answer as true. Equal sign, if you do 100 divided by 2, it will be true. So as you can see, that's what those three blocks do. And let's do some more coding, okay? This will need some more blocks, so I'm going to grab those blocks. Okay, so I'm done. So these are the blocks you'll need. When green flag is forever, if and a key space press. If you haven't seen that video, make sure you watch that video. It's in the top right corner. Okay, so we don't want this to be space. We want this to be right arrow, okay? Right arrow. Next, we want to be this key. If right arrow... Firstly, we need some more blocks, okay? Let's just duplicate this, okay? If right arrow and... If right arrow and um, space is pressed, that then we can do something. If we go all the way up to motion, and we need to do... Uh, where is it? Where is it? Where? Change X by 10, okay? If we do this and we run it, that means if right arrow and space clicked, it'll go. But if I do space and left arrow, nothing will happen. Only for there. So that's basically what that does. And so now let's go back to operators. Let's change this block, okay? We, let's change this block and let's make it a or. A or would be... This is what our all block would do, okay? An all block, if you put it right here, it will be space or right key, right, right arrow key pressed, which means that if I press space or right arrow, they'll both move, for, move forward. Now let's create one for the left arrow, so let's make it uh, left arrow. So, just so we can move him there. Or actually, better option, just do zero. Zero. Okay, done. 
So now it's back to normal and we just click this. Okay. So not there. So now we've done all now not. This is where this comes in, okay? Let's say we put key spaces per oh not not what we want. Not what we want. We don't want a duplicate. Okay. If if not key space is pressed or right arrow key is pressed, then change X by negative 10. As you can see, I'm not touching it. Hands are not on the keyboard and it's moving by itself. As you can see here, no sound. But now if I change this, it will be negative 1. And if I run this code, if I run this code, it's moving really slowly. In fact, as slow as a turtle. Let's see who can win. Okay, definitely turtle. Okay. So those are these three blocks. Now join apple and banana. This would basically mean that if you click this block, it will be apple space banana. But let's say we change this to be like like and subscribe which you should be doing right now so if you haven't done that make sure you do that when you click it there's no space so that means we need to do the space and then there'll be space between them whatever spelling error don't make it okay and there'll be like and subscribe like space subscribe now you don't have to do like and subscribe you can do anything i'm just giving this as an example but you should be doing it by now and uh, you can do and like and subscribe which basically means like and you have to like and subscribe and that's what that will do you join to you can also do dab mc and if i don't do no space it is my YouTube channel name, but if I do space, it'll be dab space mc. That's what this block does. Now, if led to this basically means if led to one of apple, which is a, that means if we do left let, uh, letter four of apple, it'll be l because a p p l. And then if we do three, it'll be third lap third. Letter of the apple. We can change this to be, let's say, record, record, recorder. Okay, so a letter of recorder is C. Now, if we do six letter of recorder, it will be E. So basically, you can check which letter it is using this tool. Next, length of apple. Length of apple basically tells you how many letters let the length of app, the word apple is. Let's say change it to WMC. It will be five. Let's change it to be me. It will be two because there are two letters, M and E. Pretty basic stuff, but okay. Apple contains A. Yes, this is true. But if we do me contains A, this is false because there is no, as you can see, an M E is basically me. There is no A. But if we change it to E, it will be true. If we change it to three, it will be false. Only if you, do, only if you do it this way. If some crazy guy will do this, M three equals three, then yes, that will be true. <laughs> Next, we have mod. Mod basically means that, like, if let's say I put ten and Two, it will be zero because ten. You can divide ten by two. There's basically a remainder. So if I do four, there'll be a remainder of two because you can create two groups, but there'll also be a remainder of two. So you can like, you know, do divide division. See which comes up for your division test on that stuff, whatever test you're taking, and yeah, keep strategy. Rounding means if you round, let's say one hundred and 49 it'll round it to one 100 round to 100 but if we say 
59, close to 59, let's say that we choose 50, okay, it'll round to 50 because that's our number, let's say we do 60, not 60, it'll round to 60 because close is 10, okay, so now if we do abs, absolute something, I forgot what it is, now if we do because it's zero, because I haven't put anything, let's say if I put 10, it would equal 10. If I change this to be 4, when well, that sounds 4, let's say 34, it will change to 34, that's because that's what it is. Then if we said to ceiling of 34, it will be 34. So, and, and if I do 10 for 34, it will be 0.67. Four, five, or a whatever that number is, because it's totally different, totally different. And none, because this basically means nothing. To asin and echoes, none, because that's the same thing. A tan is eighty-eight, okay. And then in, it's three point blah blah blah. And then e dash is a big number. I wouldn't want to mess with that. And then if I change this to a 10, it will be 1. Okay. Billion. So that's pretty much it, guys. Hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you're new to the channel. Also, click the bell so you never miss a video. Saying this, bye, guys.